Hello and welcome to a new tutorial in SOLIDWORKS That's the third episode uh, to make V12 engine uh, As I said in the previous lesson uh, We have to make uh, an assembly of the connecting road Let's start by uh, doing this part And uh, a connecting road bearing and then the assembly I will close that let's start new part click OK and uh, start by the following plan and uh, go Go ahead and uh, sketch this Add the dimension 36 here and 30 here This one you can convert it to construction geometry and you have to add two circles Now we'll add the uh, diameter. Diameter of this one is uh, uh, one eighty, and I have to add relation between these between these two. Make vertical. And I will mirror this and use trim to trim this one, all of these, and add the relation between these. And we have a fully defined sketch. Now go to feature, put 15, then click in mid plan. I click OK. Now select this face and go to project, project this one, project this and click OK. Add the circle with 60 and the line here and use trim to trim this go to feature put 2.5 and go to this side do the same thing with projecting in this side You can use fill it with five you can choose here aluminum it's time to add the hole here clicking hole select this and uh, use here hole with seven millimeter position click here and here see from the top plan and the relation between these the same thing here 
and add the center line select all and click symmetric okay then I have to add a dimension of 30 here and go to feature or we have in the feature of all here is just make through all now uh, you have to add a plan here select uh, the top plan then go to plan in the secondary reference select this point select this plan click sketch with with a rectangle of the distance between them we have 23 then add the center line to mirror this with mirror entity, entity then go to feature remove or cut material through all click ok I hide this I use fill it with with 10 millimeter click ok the same thing with 4 and click OK now if you want to add 0 0.3 to all of these but your computer has to support all this and we finish the work save it and uh, you can tap uh, the name of uh, road cap okay but uh, me it's not uh, necessary to save it uh, I have to add a new file it's the connecting road bearing select the front go to circle and put dimension of 50 use offset with one millimeter reverse okay then add the line here use trim and trim all of these go to feature put here 20 add the material like a brass then select this face go to sketch use use a rectangle and put diameter put distance here dimension here we have uh, we have 2 millimeter and distance from here we have 0 0.5 and I will add a point here this point uh, distance between this point and the origin I have to put 10 millimeter then use center line to make Revolution cut then 
the final function is to add a hole here to to make it the oil can pass through it okay through all click ok and save it in connecting row the bearing I will close that now it's time to to make an assembly click new here click an assembly click ok and uh, switch this on browse browse the connecting road the first and click browse, browse road cap and browse the connecting road bearing now go to mat select this one and this then select this and this one and this face with this face now it's fully defined now select this face and this this and this face to block the rotation select this one and this one now if you want to add the same uh, part you can copy that or you can just select or deselect all go to mirror component here the plan you can select this face and for the component to mirror select this and click in continue you can see here the uh, opacity click ok and we have the result now you can activate the you can activate the toolbox with clicking activate here or add in then for the norm click in din go to bolt select hexagon socket head screws uh, choose for example this this one click and drag to this edge wait a second then switch to the front then click and drag to drag this click and drag again then click OK here then without clicking close choose this uh, edge and close it now we have just to add a knot here with the searching uh, of a knot like uh, this one or this wait a second and validate from here and put the same thing here and click OK now we finish the work uh, the next tutorial will start the crank shaft to make an assembly thank you for watching and see you next tutorial if you like this you can just subscribe and share the movie and leave a comment thank you